Good afternoon. Well, good evening. What, what you, what you want to say? Yeah. Coach, uh, still up not practicing today. Any update on, on him? Yeah, hopefully we, we feel pretty good about him uh, at this point in time. I'm a little happier than I was yesterday. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take the precautions that we should take at this point in time. And hopefully he'll be fine by the middle part of the week. Coach, I saw Zay walking out today. Um, what's he looking like here for this week? Uh, we, we, we think we're going to have him. This is more preventative at this point in time with him. It's not one of those deals where uh, it's a sprain or strain. It's more he, he got stepped on, he got a little bit of a bruise. So we think he'll be okay. Coach, I watched you guys practice a lot today and harp on the special teams over here, and you brought that up Saturday and Monday. Just, you know, where are some of the things that you're trying to focus on to clean up some of the areas you mentioned yesterday? You know, one guy not breaking down mentally. You know, just one guy uh, on special teams can cost you a lot. And, and what's happening is that breakdown came from uh, multiple people in different times. So what we're doing is we're spending even more time on it this week, uh, spending more meeting time on it this week, just spending a lot more or more time on each detail with, uh, splitting, splitting guys up, uh, putting them with different individual coaches. It's almost like an individual coach is going to be coaching uh, every position on special teams just to make sure that we get every single thing covered. We're not, we're not going to stop trying to get better at it because we can get better. Coach, what are the challenges when you don't have a Zay, you don't have a Phil, when you talked about improving red zone efficiency and you don't have those key members? How does that kind of, you know, hurt you guys? Yeah, it, you know, it's hard, but we, we, don't, we don't practice red zone on, on Tuesdays, so we'll practice it tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, it's, a lot of that's by, by design from a long time ago in coaching. A lot of times you don't have some of the guys that come out of the game on Tuesday, so you're third down in red zone. A lot of it happens on Wednesday. So hopefully we'll get to get those guys a little bit closer to the field Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays when you have your red zone third down time. Makes sense. You know what? Between those two, I, I think it's the same. We, we wouldn't practice any different any place. Uh, Phillip might be a little bit more um, athletic running than, than Gardner, but we don't use that that much. So we're going we're gonna to get the same game plan ready regardless. He makes great decisions. He's really smart. He understands defenses. He throws the ball in time. I mean, he, he does all the stuff. I, he had two two turnovers. One was really unfortunate on that screen play. That guy tipped that ball. Um, but the kid came in, and, and I thought I thought played well other than those two plays, and I'm happy with him. He, we can win football games with him. It's not going to be an issue because we're in our second quarter. You know what? We're, we're, we're getting some different sets and some different things uh, to kind of dress up our running game. We've got to be able to run the ball better. And we're just putting a high emphasis on ball security. It's We're having one of those years right now where the ball security is really killing us. It's not one thing like we're always fumbling or we're always throwing into, into coverage. It's it's multiple things. And we just got to put emphasis on ball security. And, and our kids got to understand that that's how you lose football games. And how important are the leaders on this team for the younger guys? They're big right now because right now we should and could be 4-1. And, and we're 2-3. and three. And, and when, when things like that happen, I think leadership is everything. And especially it comes from within in that locker room. Uh, not necessarily with the first team, but I mean, I've been preparing uh, with these receivers all summer, you know, through most of the fall. So, yeah, I've been getting a fair share of reps. Uh, that's, that's the thing, you know, at a quarterback, you kind of got to stay even keel, not get too high, too low. I think that's uh, one of my problems starting. Uh, uh, the more I play, the more I learn, but I'll be. No, it's very quarterback friendly. Coach Peterson and uh, Coach Montgomery do a great job of planning around a quarterback strengths and weaknesses. Have you started going Saturday? I will be. Um, you know, like I said, I've been preparing all year. Um, and I'm just excited if my number does get called.